na msadakta mtazamaji na kusalimu popote ulipo mwanaspoti na tumai wiki yako imekuwa ya kufana na yenye mafanikio. Ni wasa mwingine wa mimi na wewe kutagu sana kuhusiana na mijadala ambayo inahusu mwanadada moja kwa moja katika spoti na inayolenga kuelimisha na kuhamasisha. A, imekuwa ni siku na wiki kabla ya wewe na mimi kusemezana lakini tumerudi kwa kishindo a, tena na tumai kwa salama na ukaribisha katika himaya ya spot sugu. E, kumbuka kwamba hili ndiyo jukua lako na kama haupo sisi hatupo. Hiyo ndiyo mbiu ya kila siku hapa spot sugu. E, kwa hiyo unaweza tuzu ngumzia katika mitandao za kijamii at GBS TV Africa azote at GBS TV Africa na vile vile e, tutumia rafa katika 21144 leo tuko na mambo mengi tu ambayo tumekuandalia e, katika jukwaa lako kwa hiyo namkaribisha Kerry Kerry uko vipi niko salama nashukuru mhm mm good to see you on a Saturday afternoon the no. 8th of October uh -huh. we say this is a dedicated sports show which cuts across all women in every sporting discipline. Mm -hmm. Na pia tunasema kwa wale ambao wanazidi kutazama. Naam. This is episode 19. Mm -hmm. We have worked with us since 29th of April when we started the journey. Tunawaambia asante sana. My social media channels Kiare Mwangi utanipata at Twitter, at LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and on Instagram. Um, na pia mimi naweza nipata katika mitandao wa Twitter atakadeli aita Facebook atakadeli aita Instagram ekadeli underscore aita na hashtag siku zote ni akadeli na michezo. E, kwa hiyo kiarie leo mm. mambo yako vipi? Leo mambo yente. Mm -hmm. Kutumia lugha yako. Naam. Na leo tunaangazia what you call psychosocial support mm -hmm. in growing girls. Mm -hmm. Lakini tena tunaangalia aso pande ya sport. Kumbuka this is sport sugu. Naam and here we talk women in sports it's a dedicated show kwa hivyo leo tunazungumzia sio wanawake tumeona a lot of transfers the last two months tumeshuhudia kuna wanadada zetu wanne ambao wameelekea kule Tanzania pale Simba Simba Queens kwa hiyo wakina Corazon Queen wameenda kule kwa hiyo kila laheri kwao na ndio maana tuko hapa kuwazungumzia je ni ni kipi kina kinawahusu na tutawasaidia vipi tumeona Malkia Strikers now wali banduliwa kule wali banduliwa pale kule Uholanzi pale Puerto Rico wali banduliwa lakini pia alishinda Cameroon na ameshinda Afrika walifanya vizuri japo walipoteza walipoteza pale Bushwa mm -hmm. and all in all as you say here at Sports Ugu uh -huh. our energy is on the women developing women in sports Naam. na kuzungumzia seko social support eh, uh -huh. ni mmoja uh -huh. wa uh, the topics that we need to uh -huh. touch manako akienda hata sio inchi inchi just Naam county mm -hmm. atoke Nairobi mm -hmm. aende Turkana county ana atoke Muranga county aende mm -hmm. Bungoma county kwa hiyo kuna mabadiliko ya mazingira pale eh, eh. kuna mambo ambayo yanamuathiri moja kwa moja ambayo hatuyafahamu eh, eh. na ndio maana tuko na mgeni um, wetu hapa leo atazungumzie ni mambo yapi ambayo yana yana affect kule eh mm -hmm. napiga tabasamu sijui tumpatie nafasi tumpe Just, nafasi tumpe nafasi ya kadeli naam <laughs> <laughs> so by introduction <laughs> Um, as I talk, um, there's something we call trauma in, in counseling mm -hmm. or psychology. Mm -hmm. In other words, unapatana una na mambo ambayo yanakushitua mpaka una feel as if you're in trouble. <laughs> Sasa mimi nime guaru, eh? Mm -hmm. Isme guaruswa inaitwaje? Eh. Ivo, yani I'm traumatized kwa sababu ya Kiswahili chako you know it's like <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call Kiswahili sadifu eh So um and I did Kiswahili in school I was very good but yeah. because of kuchanganyika na watu kama Kiari ambao wanaongea <laughs> wanaongea Kiswahili cha excuse me mambo ya sisi lombo tovu vitu kama hizo So na kida kidogo siwezi ongea Kiswahili vizuri sana But naitwa ngini na songo a counseling psychologist and I've been practicing this for the last 10 years class mm -hmm. and apart from that I'm also a trainer meaning I teach those who want to become counselors so it's not just teaching uh, we also um, facilitate workshops talking matters ma mental health uh -huh. mm -hmm. so tunapotaja vitu kama um, uh, mental health mm -hmm. ama tukisema psychosocial mm -hmm. you know it encompasses quite a lot mambo na akili unajua siku hizi kuna mambo mengi yanahusika na you know, mm -hmm. Shida, msongo wa mawazo msongo wa mawazo yeah, yeah, yeah. that is just one of the many issues yeah, yeah. ambayo yamesababisha uh, vifo vingi siku hizi katika nchi yetu na yeah. i think duniani kwa jumla mm. 
So uh, tukija kwenye sporti basi, mm. when you look at the girls, mm. talk about adolescents, wale ambao bado kwa umri ambao unaza kucheza, uh -huh. kufanya michezo, mm. unapata kwamba an adolescent is a person who is still developing. Yeah. Ata kia kili. Yeah. Hajapata uwezo wa kuweza ku, uh, kufanya wamuzi mm -hmm. na saha on themselves or by themselves. Okay. Kwa hivyo inakuwa changamoto sana. Mm -hmm. Ikiwa tusine mtoto ni wa miaka kumina sita hivi, mm -hmm. vila unasema sujia metoka vihiga, akapele kwa sujia tulukana. Mm -hmm. Mtoto wanyana mm -hmm. enda kushituka. You know they are shocked one. <laughs> and I'm saying this with all due respect. Tuna wakati nikuwa nimeenda tulukana kufanya kazi. Naha. And their culture actually surprised me. Mm -hmm. Mmoja wetu akasema <laughs> kuna mgeni hapo nje amekuja kututembelea. <laughs> Tulipoenda kumuona huyu mgeni tulishtuka mavazi yake. <laughs> Actually I think he was lit under man. Eh? <laughs> he was literally shocked. Naked. Oh. So tukatoroka ino tukarudi ndani. <laughs> e, tukarudi ndani kwenye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No? So niambie mtoto wa, wa na sisi we were already adults. Yes, eh? We yes, could yes. probably yes. handle that. Yes. Lakini huyu ni mtoto wa miaka 10 Sita. 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 Anapeleka mahali kama pale wale wanaohusika hawa kumwambia kwamba kule tunakoenda kuna 1 2 3 4 things. <laughs> so inakuwa inamchanganya kiasi. Oh, ina so those are some of the things that tunaweza kumfanya mtoto hata mm -hmm. kama alikuwa mzuri kiasi kwenye mchezo huo mm -hmm. ita, ita, ita affect the performance manake ana, anaanza kuwa na uoga fulani. Mm -hmm. It affects their their performance in, mm -hmm. in because their self-esteem mm -hmm. and even self-confidence mm -hmm. has been affected. Mm -hmm. So mambo kama hayo huwa anachangia. Mm -hmm. You know? So, so I, I think just for the benefit of the viewer. Yes. Because uh, because Ekadeli Naxweli Sanifu mm -hmm. spoke about uh, psychosocial yes. support. Yes. I think by definition so that as you go for the break, eh, mm -hmm. I think define for us ngini. No mesema mimi nitakwambia na Kolombo Tov. So <laughs> so in English, mm -hmm. so define for us psychosocial support. What is it? So when we are talking about psychosocial support, many times people look at it from there's the counseling as perspective. Mm -hmm. But see, when you talk about social, mm -hmm. it encompasses quite a lot. We are looking at this individual holistically. Mm -hmm. We are looking at the physical aspect of this pa person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are looking at the mental health of this person. Mm -hmm. Are they healthy in the way they are thinking? Mm -hmm. We are looking at the spiritual aspect. You know, nutritionally, how is this person? You know, mm -hmm. all those things that build this person eventually. Mm -hmm. When we also talk about social, anawusiano gani na watu ambao anaishi na wao, wale watu ambao anafanya nao kazi, mm -hmm. not social. social. No, it's, it's quite wide. Okay. So when we are looking at that individual and we are giving them that psychosocial support, mm -hmm. we want to look at the whole person holistically. Uh -huh. He sees uh -huh. their emotions. The emotion. mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. It's, it's not see. just about... Mm -hmm. Mawazo ya kili. It, it's you as a person. Mm -hmm. yeah. So oh, basically yeah. a 360 approach. Yes, yeah. yes. That's that's how it is. Oh, oh. Manake, manake Wait. Kadeli hapa, uh -huh. ujua, timi yake, timi yake na sikianga suyo, nasema top of the table, hile suyo, mazungumza yake. Mm -hmm. Asa labda na kuanga na wasia wake, emotional suyo, nini? Na yeah, mdiyo hii, wa, mm -hmm. maybe asenali wa sha pigwa pale kwa hiyo, na mezoya kushinda kila wakati. <laughs> Sasa, unastuka. <laughs> Sasa, unastuka. <laughs> <laughs> Mwenye tukua hapa, hata mimi kubenefit kutoka kwake mm -hmm. na mezungumzia kuhusiana na mahusiano kati ya mtu na mtu mm -hmm. na moja kwa moja mm -hmm. na vile vile hisia mm -hmm. za mtu kuwe ku uh, zidi ya environment ambaye mm -hmm. amekuenda me kule. Kwa hiyo, mm -hmm. tutaelekezana zaidi na pia wale wanadada wetu ambayo umetoka Kenya wakaenda kule mm -hmm. ni mambo ambayo siku anayajua wanapitia kule mambo mm -hmm. yu asha taja. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo, itakuwa nzuri. Mm -hmm. Mm. So nafikiria kabla tupige tama la maji ya kadili. Aha. Na manaki wajua, oe numeguzo zaidi, seko social support. Sila tuataka tukifika pale pa top mm -hmm. of the table. Mm -hmm. Sasa, matoke ikija tofauti, mm -hmm. usijia tenu kaleta mshikile au, oh, okay. mshiki mshiki ati oo, oh, sijui nini. Mutakuwa mzuri. Uh, Ati ngini yuko available. Aha. Yo, Atatuelekeza. Atatuelekeza. Eh, sana sana ni watu wa Manchester, naona cameraman pale ni wa Manchester. Kwa hiyo, <laughs> pia ya nafaidika kivi yake. <laughs> <laughs> kwa hiyo tueleke uh, tu, tutarejia mtazamaji lakini kumbuka kusemeza na nasi katika rafa 2-1-2-1-1-4 uh, utuambie je ni mambo yepi ambayo kama we ni mzazi ni mambo yepi ambayo uh, msijana wako napitia eh, katika, ya, katika sekta ya sport ambayo na husiana nayo uh, uneza tuma rafa kisha tutazungumza kwa hiyo tapumua kidogo kisha tukirejia uh, tutazamia swala hili uh, moja kwa moja kwa hiyo sika mbali Hey. 
everywhere. GBS. Sadaka mtazamaji kumbuka ni mjadala ambao tunazungumzia e, hapa katika uh, show ya Sportsugu uh, kila wakati ama kila siku ya Jumamosi kuhusiana na mjadala ambayo inahusu mwanadada moja kwa moja na leo tuko na ngini uh, na songo anazungumzia uh, kuhusiana na psychosocial support in growing girls undertaking a uh, sport kwa hiyo kama we ni mzazi uko pale na m- Um, na dada wa ama msichana wako anajihusisha na mambo ya sporti unaweza tega sikio mautume ya rafa e, tuweze kushirikiana pamoja na uh, keri awamu hii tunazungumzia kuhusiana na mambo ambayo wanapitia wanadada no. ama teenagers yeah. wale between tumesema 16 to uh, to, to 19, to 19. Because, because when they are finishing school they are getting to Aha. to clubs mm-hmm. and now they have taken up Mm-hmm. On, they have identified ni sport gani na chezo jo labda no. perhaps we started with basketball and this yes. then in between all like, this is the line uh-huh. ile inafuata uh-huh. then now to say me that was pure end into college ama campus no. and wataka ku just to mm-hmm. get to your sports mm-hmm. and develop it further mm-hmm. kumbuka pia that's also around the time that you're moving from home mm-hmm. like just get into let's say enda maseno university mm-hmm. unaka mm-hmm. unaka Taita. Taita. You know, things like those ones. So uh-huh. I think those are the conversations around the psychosocial support. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo ngine tu twende tupige na tumesema kwamba challenges. Mm-hmm. Uh, challenges ambao wanadada hawa wanapitia mm-hmm. katika sporti mm-hmm. uh, hiyo 16 to 19. Kwa hiyo unaweza tupeleka. Yeah, uh, asante uh, sana. Uh, you know, tukiongea juu ya challenges, mm-hmm. uh, lazima tumtambue huyo msichana kwanza kama mtu. You know, she's first of all an individual, a mm-hmm. human being, eh? mm-hmm. Kabla awe mtu mwana sporty. Mm-hmm. So, mambo mengi yanafanyika kwa mwili yake. There are changes mm-hmm. happening, you know, mm-hmm. because she's developing. Yeah. Uh, she's developing from a child into mm-hmm. an, an adult, mm-hmm. not yet because kabla afike 18 bado mm-hmm. ni mtoto. Mm-hmm. Lakini by the way PM tunataka tuelewe kwamba mm-hmm mtu huwa anakuwa up to around akili zake the brain develops up to age 25 that is what has been documented okay. so hapa chini hata ukifanya kitu gani kabla hujafikisha mwaka umri wa miaka 25 bado tunakuona kama wewe mtoto wewe ni mtoto inaelewa we still actually it's like from age uh, manake squeeze we have uh, early developers mm. so adolescence inaanza kuanzia mwaka wa 9 mm-hmm. hadi um, 24 in some books they talk about 25 mm, years hapo wote ni adolescence mm-hmm. isipokuwa sasa mm-hmm. we have more teenagers because they start from 13 mpaka mm-hmm. 19 so we have more teenagers in that bracket unaelewa yeah. mm-hmm. so challenges ni nyingi huyu mm-hmm. msichana pengine ametoka anataka anapenda mchezo mm-hmm. anapenda mchezo lakini so yuko shuleni yuko shuleni lakini sasa challenge ni kwamba ata balance vipi masomo no, na na sports unaelewa hata mm. kama uh, sema ako boarding school mm. yeah mm. there are certain hours they must be in school in mm. class mm. wakitoka break kama sijui kufanya kitu gani maybe it's just an hour 45 minutes mm. because the program must run they must now rush maybe rush have a shower have their dinner mm. and go to class for prep they don't get maximum time uh-huh. ya ku practice mm-hmm. na unajua zile nchi za nje advanced countries the, the first world yeah. watoto wanaanza kufunza wakiwa wadogo sana you know? yeah. that's why sometimes we have challenges unaelewa yeah. yeah. na ndio tu mwelekeo ambao tunaelekea cbc yes kama cbc ambaye watu wanaipenga kabisa ni vile hawaelewi what it is uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually, yeah. so um tunatakana tuelewe kwamba huyu mtoto anapitia mambo kama hayo mm. the program in school does not allow her to become what they want to become in school unajua mm-hmm. kule nje hao tap into the talent of the child si lazima asome history na christian CRE is na nini because they may never apply them but religion is very important because inamsaidia kama mwanadamu kukua like we talked about the spiritual aspect yeah. lakini sasa vitu kama <laughs> kuna mwingine alikuwa ananiambia walinifunza ku dissect grasshoppers <laughs> kitu gani yeah. i never wanted to be a doctor i never wanted to do anything with, with these grasshoppers and <laughs> lakini frogs walinifunza. lakini nilifunza yeah. they think like that that is um, a waste of time uh-huh. so what are we saying they don't have adequate time because wao bado wanakuwa okay. na unajua hata ukishakuwa inakuwa tena they are out of time 
Yeah. Because I'm a chelewa. Wa me shachelewa. Wa me pita. Age, age. age yake me pita. Okay. So that is one problem. Mm -hmm. Kitu cha pili ni uh, maumbile. Mm -hmm. I talk about body image. Mm -hmm. Mustana uh, kwa mfana anapoanza kuingia into adolescence. Mm -hmm. Mwili wao ni kitu cha muhimu sana kwake. Mm -hmm. Unaelewa? Mm -hmm. Sasa ikiwa amekuwa especially wakati afika 14 15, mm -hmm. mwili wao wengi wao wanakuwa wananenepa. Mm -hmm. Sasa kama mwalimu wake ama yule coach atasema anything like you have a very big body you can't do. Aha, I'm a Maliza yule mtoto. Okay. Because sasa uh, mentally they start feeling like I'm not competent enough. Mm -hmm. It has affected now their self esteem. Okay. Hata kama alikuwa mzuri VP already they have been damaged. They you know the performance will drastically reduce um, in, uh, go down mm -hmm. and they may not do as much. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wakati huo mtoto pia, now here is either boy or girl, they like being appreciated. You know, affirmation, validation, they like. Like, you know, one statement is enough to, do, to destroy this child almost forever. Those are the cases we handle. And anasema, mimi nipakua mdogo mamango wa niyambia zima titiangu ni kubwa kama sijui kitu gani. Nyole zangu ni nyingi kwa kitu kama kondo. You know, vitu kama hizo. Zina muafet. Na sasa ni mutu tunongea. Ako even 50 years. But they never dealt with that. And that's how we come in as counselors. Tunasema, how are toto? Mm. Can we take them through a process? Maybe that is what we shall be talking about in terms of recommendations. Okay. Like in, in muhimu kwamba, mm. we prepare them for whatever it is that uh -huh. is coming ahead. Tunatena sana wazazi wa usike. Wa, wazazi lazima wa usike. Sawa. Mm -hmm. Na wale coaches. Sana sana unachukua mtoto wako wa kike, unamuachia coach mwanaume. Unam. Na boy child, I'm sorry to say this, mara nyingi mi nasike ni kama fisi. Sijui ni fisi ya inagani, mm. but nasike ni fisi. Mm -hmm. Kasa umechukua fisi, ukampatia mbuzi, ukamambia, <laughs> nichungie hii mbuzi, <laughs> mwenye nitakuja kuchukua badai. <laughs> Na huyu, kuna njaa za ina nyingi, <laughs> you know, ambazo sitataja hapa. So huyu fisi, <laughs> anashindwa, <laughs> kuna vila atamchunga kia. <laughs> Tumesema na mulea kwa njia nyingi, eh? lakini kuna vile itafika mahali, inafikia kili zinapungua, ma, ana, anashindwa kufikiria, mm -hmm. ama kujithibiti uh, to, mm -hmm. to control themselves. Mm -hmm. So things start happening to this child. Yeah. Kumbuka hui mtoto ni bado anakua. Mm -hmm. so, akijingiza kwa husi, ata siye mwenye wata jingiza, huyu jamaa, mm -hmm. anaweza kumambia anything good that makes the girl's heart start beating like, nikiona, oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. the and I want to come to Bali. I want to come to Bali. So he starts taming this girl. Mm -hmm. They will do what Anna take yeah. advantage of that girl. So taking advantage of that girl. No. Yes. Sasa hui mtoto wenyewe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm anashindu atambiaje mama na sana sana ni mama alimpeleka kule mm. atambiaje mama because now she's between a rock and a hard place True. akiambia mama it means mama atenda kupiga kelele kuza tujuu kwenye maza mm -hmm. and then she lose this opportunity no. unelewa no, yeah. na sasa yeah. kocha na muambia ukisema na wewe no. eh, those favors <laughs> you are getting na wewe ile team selection wewe uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. inje mm -hmm. na ndiyo anafanya yes. kita kuselectiwa maybe kwa Kwa kikosi, mm -hmm. kwa lazima, lazima kwa mwusia na kocha. Yes. Lazima kwa mwusia na karibu na kocha. Lazima yes. mwusia. Like, na sasa hiyo mwusia na kwa watu ambi, wa karibu, karibu kiasi gani, we never know. Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa huyo mutoto, <laughs> <laughs> akija, like now I'm, tell, I'm talking from my uh, professional perspective, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. wakija wananiambia that is what happens to them. Wow. Yes. Sasa tumefanyiwa hivi na shindu anitambia mama. Wakati mgini nikeda kumambia mama ananiambia, mm -hmm. because of their innocence, they mm -hmm. just go and say, mom, mm -hmm. coach alifanya hivi, alinipeleka, can buy us, jini ni coffee hapa java, mm -hmm. alafu jini ni nini, mara nyingine KFC, mm -hmm. alafu this is what happened. Mm -hmm. Mama yaka nambia, we, I think you are dreaming. Mm -hmm. Nafikiri wewe unaota. Huyo yeah. coach huyo kiari vile namjua hawezi kufanya kitu kama hicho. Hawezi kitu kama hicho. Na ndio yeah. ndio mm -hmm. shida sana mm -hmm. kwa wazazi mm -hmm. maana mm -hmm. umemkabidhi msichana wako kwa kocha yes. mtu ambaye hujui ana anakaa vipi hisia mm -hmm. zake ni vipi mm -hmm. ama hujamfuatilia ukajua huyo anafanya hiki na hiki. Kwa hiyo mm -hmm. tatizo kubwa sana mm -hmm. ni la wazazi. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then pia mzazi akishapeleka mm -hmm. mtoto kule hafuatilii kwa karibu ajue what is going on. Mm -hmm. What is happening to this child? Mm -hmm. Uh, you know? Though again there, mm. and Kuheshima, mm. like we were looking the other day to Kasema, mm. Kenya Women Premier League yeah, mm. has 12 clubs, mm -hmm. but it has 10 coaches. 10. Mm. 10 clubs out of the 12 are coached by men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Wawili ndio Wawili too, and, like that's the Kenyan Women Premier League. Mm. So, so sports, Ukitaja two sports, mm -hmm. it's seen as a male dominated. It's it, mm -hmm. sports is gender male. Mm -hmm. So even for the for the parent, I'm a guardian. Mm. So 
default ina kwanga ni mwanaume mm. so i think those who do not know how to handle mm-hmm. that my daughter is being coached by a, a woman coach mm-hmm. because in asemekananga a male coach ndio wanaonanga even that is what the parent and the guardian knows mm-hmm. so i think therein becomes another problem again and that's why in my recommendation now say my recommendations i'm mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. we need to have more female coaches you understand mm-hmm. maybe it will reduce we are not saying it's completely going to eliminate that behavior True. because kuna vile wana interact bad of course yeah. but it gives them a sense of security or safety for a given period of time mutoto akiendelea kuwa that is if they are going to engage a psychologist to be with them all the time akiwaambia pia wewe uko na haki ya kusema no na mtu akiwaambia kwa sababu haukunikubali ama ukubali mambo yangu 1 2 3 4 things takuondoa kwenye team huyu mtoto anasema hata ukiniondoa kuna mahali ambapo mimi nitaenda kusema and then they are protected in that way but sana sana hawana men they don't have no. Na mm-hmm. ndio hiyo mm-hmm. maana yake hata vilabu vingi ukifuatilia vya KWPL mm-hmm. uh, hawana psychologist wa mm-hmm. uh, sports psychologist mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, kwa hiyo yeah. inakuwa shida mm-hmm. kwa ule mm-hmm. but again ngini just yes. moving it a bit uh, forward eh? mm-hmm. there is also this a lot of uh, women it's a global village mm-hmm. na there's this thing about ile kwenda kutaka kucheza pro kwenda kutaka kucheza in mm-hmm. of the country mm-hmm. yeah i know so so far if the challenges unasema mm-hmm. and so far the conversation ni local mm-hmm. like you tumesema from kangema to baragoi mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> from, from bungoma so, to kitale mm-hmm. but now here girls and increasingly we want them to go abroad mm-hmm. vile lisema that to get that first that first class exposure mm-hmm. now Uh, imagine how imagine then the bigger the challenge mm. when they are in a foreign country mm. foreign weather i think foreign language mm. foreign what foreign 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 every data chakula yeah you see that is when now culture shock also comes in okay even before we go very far yeah. uh-huh. think about a kid who has come from some rural place mm-hmm. akaletwa nairobi they really get shocked mm-hmm. and that's why i'm saying there's really normally no proper preparation for these children mm-hmm. so culture shock iko mm-hmm. Now that means probably the coaches and whoever is involved does not prepare these kids well enough and say huko tukifika unajua mm-hmm. sometimes hapa Kenya hakuna cha kutema tema ovyo ovyo you know mitaani mm-hmm. understand mm-hmm. kuna kuna tabia zao ambazo ziko desturi zao na tabia ziko 1 2 3 4 things uh-huh. we expected mm-hmm. ukienda kwa sasa zingine some mm-hmm. of their toilets you don't mm-hmm. need to flush eh? mm-hmm. Ukisikia ina flash yenyewe usitoke usitoroke mm. <laughs> because that is how it is mm. we need to prepare these kids mentally also that this is going to happen and one thing i've seen uh, honestly mm. is that um, mm. how our coaches and i'm not blaming them whoever is involved generally mm. even the ministry will say mm. they don't uh, they don't treat these kids their age unajua oh, wana treat uh, kama watu wazima tayari no. Wewe mbona ukufanya hivi? You know this kid is made to skip several years to become that adult mm. that the coach expects them to be. Mm. Which means anaruka miaka fulani hapa. Mm. And akana kumbe even that is very common in us especially theater. Mm. Watoto wa miaka 5, miaka 10, you know wakienda kufanya hizo rehearsals zao wanashautiwa tu vile ule mwingine mtu mzima angesha. Sasa mm. mtoto in that trauma hata anashanga atafanya nini? Mm. They again I talk about their self esteem. Mm inapungua na mtoto anakaa muoga the rest of their lives yeah. and learn kwamba mimi ni kuambiwa tu siwezi kutakuongea so anyway so that yeah. culture shock is there uh-huh. uh, the, the kids are not well prepared for whatever they are going to meet ahead okay, okay? Mm-hmm. and uh, they, they also need to be told that hii ni game tunaenda kucheza kama ni football sikuwe soft kama mtu because at sasa wewe ni mwe si ngozi yake iko aje na wewe si nini cheza game because they, they also take advantage of us because of our skin okay. so kuna hiyo issue Ah, okay. Kule sema, kuna chakula, kuna chakula. chakula shida ni hiyo unajua eh, kuna so the weather are they prepared have they carried warm clothing because probably mm-hmm. wanaenda wakati wa winter mm-hmm. you know ama wanaenda wakati wa joto wamebeba mm-hmm. you know nyepesi mm-hmm. viatu you know all that language La, lugha Lug- have they been prepared mm-hmm. although from, yeah they need to have something maybe okay. lugha sana sana they may not, may, may not be very necessary uh-huh. because sasa tukicheza sisi ni timu moja tunaweza kuongea lugha yetu yeah. but then maybe kupitisha tu hapa na pale it's good to know wakisema wewe mshenzi unajua wewe hata mimi nitakusema wewe mshenzi kwa kifeli <laughs> na nitaambia mwenzangu na siku ya kucheke uh-huh. unaelewa yeah. so kuna hiyo kitu pia inaitwa stigma na coming stigma. back local okay. unyanyapa i think in kiswahili no. no. like, so, no. yeah. yeah. so when you're talking about stigma what are we saying mm-hmm. for a very long time we have associated football with the male gender mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So ukiona msichana anaanza kucheza football tunasema ah hebu mchunguze huyu vizuri. Mm. <laughs> Ama ni semenya, you know vitu kama hizo. Na kuna story za semenya, umeshuhudia? Tumeona. Na wale wa wale wanadada wa Serengeti Girls under mm. 17. Eh, kuna yes. yule mwanadada mm. wakati walikuwa wameenda mchuano kule Cameroon. Cameroon. Mm-hmm. Alichunguzwa. Mm. Simkumbuki jina. Eh alichunguzwa simu zake za siri eh, ili athibitishwe kwamba huyu ni mwanadamu because mm-hmm. alikuwa na body structure yake mm-hmm. was more Al- masculine, masculine mm-hmm. than feminine yes. mm-hmm. so the cameroon team mm-hmm. they said that they are officials with, mm-hmm. the officials said mm-hmm. hey, there's a man in the girls team yeah. mm-hmm. so and the girl did not recover from that because mm-hmm. then you had to go to the locker room she had to undress mm-hmm. to prove she's uh, nah. gender can you imagine kitu kama hicho uh-huh. Kwa sababu tu ya misuli na just... lomba kupiga mabao mengi mm. iyo tu. Yeah. Na ni maumbile tu ni maumbile. ya kawaida. Mm. Mm-hmm. So there is that stigma. Uh-huh. Unajua mm-hmm. now that is a bit extreme. Unajua uh-huh. imagine ukifanyia mtoto vitu kama hivyo. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. And you know football also is, is inaitaji watu ziju kula aji. My son is a sports. Okay, he plays football. <laughs> 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 And every time he says, sasa mami ni food guy ni koza mteni mleo saa mutakula tu indomi. Uh-huh. And I said, "Ai, you know me. Is that food that means snack? Mm. You know vitu kama hizo. Yeah, chakula. Anataka chakula, uh, chakula, you know. Mm. So the body builds, the yes. muscles yes. come and the teeth wanafanya all the time. Yeah. Mtoto akishazoea sasa anaanza kukaa kabisa mwanaume. Mm. And the, the you know the game is not very soft. Yeah. Mm. Sasa akipita even a ball like inda hivi anasema, "Ah, hapa oh. yenyewe kuna mvulana <laughs> so this, that's how stigma now comes in and people in the village or wherever they come from will be asking like who in bona anapenda football mm-hmm. eh football ni mvulana mbona you understand so there is that stigma that needs to be uh, demystified mm-hmm. you know lakini like, i think we are doing very well because yeah. we use football kila maya girls football mm-hmm. which queens mm-hmm. i don't know kuna vitu kama hizo kwa hiyo community pia inachangia yes, yule msichana yes, yes. ku, ku mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, squeeze it here and many other sports like like mm-hmm. most sports eh mm-hmm. they are both they are both gender volleyball yes, basketball yeah, football yeah. hockey mm-hmm. most of the sports squeeze with mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. they are more they are more women inclusive mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you see we are not we are saying more which means hawakuwa mm-hmm. yeah. na baada hatujaikubali kwamba mm-hmm. hii pia ni sport ambayo wasichana wanaweza kucheza mm-hmm. true, yeah. true, 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 true. Yeah. so kuna hiyo pia alafu mm-hmm. pia kuna i think this one i mentioned already uh, mm-hmm. the abuse sexual abuse yes, you know mm-hmm. sometimes it's a uh, Uh, physical i mean it's it's actually it's sexual abuse mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be physical sometimes uh-huh. some people can just say things to insinuate unajua hata kama hiyo kuambia wewe unakaa kama mwanaume that is already sexual abuse hata ku whisper ama kumpigia tu yes you know ivo you know ama kumtaja majina ambaye anahusishwa na wanaume you know it's ni kumtusi you know it's it's emotional and it's just bad so ama sometimes vile tumetaja um men uh, take advantage of this girl. Yeah. I want to tell you something that may be, be very surprising to you. Mm. Eh? We need to know that not only men abuse girls. Uh-huh. Fellow girls can abuse girls. Naelewa. Uh-huh. Sexually. So now tuna Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I get it. So we are kwa kwenye hiyo camp. I have heard some girls say kuna msichana mmoja alikuwa anamterrorize sana yeye anamwambia uh-huh. anataka uhusiano wa kimapenzi uh-huh. na ni msichana yeye pia ni msichana okay uh-huh. so lesbianism lesbianism, lesbianism in other words uh-huh. sijui naitwaje kwa Kiswahili hiyo uh-huh. but there is Shoga. yeah there's that mm-hmm. lesbianism mm-hmm. there so mm-hmm. nyinyi mnafikiri ah mtoto wangu yuko sawa but you see this is a kid who is being introduced to something and mm-hmm. by the way if she's 13 14 hapo mm-hmm. that may also become her lifestyle aha uh-huh. because that is the first sexual experience she's had kwa hiyo vulnerability no yes yes sasa yeye akishakuwa akishafika 18 hapo 16 sasa anaanza ku recruit pia wenzake so it becomes the norm mwingine mm. aliniuliza tulikuwa tumeenda kwa shule nyingine ya wasichana kuzungumzia mambo yeah. sexuality mm. so wakao wameandika viji barua vidogo vidogo you know because they mm. didn't want to raise their hands and say mm. this so one asked kwani there is nothing positive about uh, lesbianism Ah, mm. my, yeah that's a girl saying uh-huh. and she said um no, another one said um my work here is just to recruit to recruit to recruit wow. wengine uh-huh. wanje kwa hiyo uh-huh. na mwingine akasema uh-huh. why would i say no to a girl who is providing for me kwa hivyo hapo ndani kuna sponsors anaitwa hivyo so wafadhili it <laughs> 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 so looks like there's a financial benefit, benefit yes benefit. out of it out of it mm-hmm. uh-huh. Wow. So to see to see uh, let's not narrow our thoughts. Yeah, mm. we we need to look at it 
broadly. Mm -hmm. Yes, probably I think in this girl is safe because mm -hmm. we'll coach in Missouri. Mm -hmm. But among themselves, mm -hmm. there is somebody else who is doing wow. things to them. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Kuna mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 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 And what about, uh, before you go for the break, what about <laughs> this, this unmet expectations? Mm -hmm. Gini. Mm -hmm. Manake labda, you, you are going, mm -hmm. you had uh, hopes, mm -hmm. you wanted to go to UK, mm -hmm. you have planned, there's a team, you have mm -hmm. been working so hard, mm -hmm. then things happen and you find yourself in uh, some low division club in Sweden. Mm -hmm. you know, at, and which also happens frequently to mm -hmm. sports personalities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's say you are swimming, mm -hmm. but you are, you are you know, not, as you can figure a certain mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. Then you find yourself, yes, you are still abroad mm -hmm. because you wanted to go abroad, mm -hmm. but not but not where you wanted, you know, where mm -hmm. you had. Mm -hmm. So, and since it's happening across Africa, mm -hmm. I mean, what do you say about such kind of unmet expectation? You see, again, it still comes back to us, and that's what I, I would want to talk about when you're looking at the recommendation, mm -hmm. when you talk about preparedness. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we need to empower these kids, or generally any, everybody else, mm -hmm. to know that sometimes we don't just get that which we want. Okay. Sometimes we fail. Mm -hmm. And when you fail, it doesn't mean that you are a failure. Mm -hmm. You just need to look back and ask yourself, what do I need to do to improve my situation? Mm -hmm. Maybe it is within your powers to, 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 improve, to improve or to make those changes. Mm -hmm. But if it's beyond you, then mm -hmm. there's nothing I can do. Uh -huh. you know? So while I'm about a certain expectations, mm -hmm. of course, kuna vile mtu anaweza kwa short change to happen a failure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is also there. But then unatakana kuwa unafikiria very fast ujulize, mm -hmm. what can I do in a situation like this? Mm -hmm. That is after we have prepared them from home. Oh, Kabla waende. Ni kitu ambacho unatakana wa wamejua right from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm getting in this, into this spot. I'm likely to be told this and that by this person. Mm -hmm. I have the power to say no. And mm -hmm. these are the likely consequences. How prepared am I to deal with these consequences? Yeah, vitu kama hizi. Kwa hiyo matarajio na kule kujipanga. Kwa hiyo mtazamaji suluhisho la maswala haya yote ambayo ametutajia hapa ni lipi. Kwa hiyo usikai mbali. Tunarudi baada muda mfupi. Everywhere, GBS. Thank you once again, our dear viewer, for being with us, for sticking with us, and for the friendship you have given us over the period. This is your show, Sports Sugu, a dedicated women only to Kuhapa Kwa Nyabayako. GBS TV SMS is 21144. 21144. Please share with us your opinion, share your, your, with your advice, your ideas to Zoom Zia. We are talking about psychosocial support in growing girls taking up sports. Sports has been a male dominated. To mm -hmm. by default, we are male dominated. But increasingly, we have more and more women, more and more girls taking up sports. Nangina na more is not enough. We need to have. It, it, it has to be. It has to be almost equilibrium. Zizitoshane. Si kusema ti ni more. It needs to be more. Koivo, for us, we are happy to have Ngini, a counseling psychologist, and she has been taking us through the challenges, through what happens to our growing girls when they take up sports, from culture shock, lack of preparedness, mentorship, stigma, sexual violence, which, uh, which I mean, Gusia Mesema, it cuts both ways. And I think Kadeli, I don't know, you are learning kitu ama... Anasoma. Mbadu kwa... Unelekezo. Mbadu kwa... Mm -hmm. 
So I think we're getting back to you first. Thanks a lot for taking time and for honoring us for the show. Thank you. What are now? We've got to have to the recommendation because you can have all the challenges yes, or you can yeah. have all, but again, if you're not proactive, mm -hmm. to also table down the recommendation. Mm -hmm. Um, First and foremost, I think, uh, like I said, we are human beings before we become so many other things. Before we become a sports person in the football, I don't know this and that. So let's prepare these people, these children, um, early enough. If that talent has been noted mm -hmm. at that early age, can we start nurturing it at that very beginning? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, let them get the support mm -hmm. if uh, it's possible from their parents mm -hmm. or guardians or whoever else is the significant other in that family mm -hmm. that will understand that this is what this kid has mm -hmm. with the support of the school administration and everybody else. To mm -hmm. we to we, we, we involved, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's are, are an all-round thing. Okay. Do we have the family supporting this girl in order to come ahead? So ananzi akule chini siyo kufika class from four alafu amande ananza kushituka. Ah, I think I can do this. Uh -huh. So the opportunities are very minimal. They are okay. they are less. They mm -hmm. need to be prepared. Okay. And then when we are talking about that, we also need to let them know that, you know, football is a culture on its own. Eh? Mm -hmm. They need to be prepared for that culture. Okay. As uka kijua at mimi ni msichana I'm going to get any favors because I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. That may not work. Okay. Prepare them. You know, preparedness is quite wide. Mm -hmm. Then we also coach them on self-awareness. You know, mm -hmm. this is a whole program which can it can be taught. It's not a one-off thing. Mm -hmm. Let this girl get empowered and mm -hmm. learn that yes, I, I, I have the let, let me know my boundaries. Uh -huh. You know, ikifika hapa a no. Uh -huh. it, it cannot work, but I still want one, two, three, four things. Uh -huh. We talk about being assertive as opposed to being aggressive. Uh -huh. Ask for what it is you want, but in a way that is understandable. Uh -huh. You get it, yes, but you're not stepping on other people's feet uh -huh. to get what you want. That is now being aggressive. You know, kutumia kifua. You know, vila smate, anatumia kifua. No, we don't want that. Mm -hmm. We want you to be assertive. Mm -hmm. Assertive, set your boundaries. Assertive, mm -hmm. say no. Mm -hmm. Don't just say yes so that you're called good, mm -hmm. so that you please people, you know, people pleasing. Mm -hmm. And then you also want to learn, I mean, to encourage leadership among the girl child, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I mean, the, the girls, mm -hmm. let them also get those positions of leadership where sports is involved. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, because atakuwa yeah. nasema, when she's in this mood, probably one, two, three, four things uh -huh. could be happening to her at a level. But if it's scary, scary, her dream will be to Ah, where is that? 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 Who is your mother here? You know that kind of talk. But if we had a woman in leadership, there would be no, there are certain seasons, you know, our hormones fluctuate. Mm -hmm. And it could be that season. Uh, like, uh, like what our guest has said, uh, mm -hmm. when you're talking about menstrual hygiene. Yes. And, uh, he, and she said that uh, mm -hmm. there are some girls who mm -hmm. have been left out of teams yes. and tournaments mm -hmm. simply because it was that time of the month. Yeah. But then during that time of the month, and all, mm -hmm. because it was a ma male who was in charge as mm -hmm. a club mm -hmm. owner, I'm mm -hmm. a coach. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sasa Kasema, in fact, she said, she used these words. Yes. Yeah. So you see, yes. so you, you got left out, not mm -hmm. because of your... Mm -hmm. Na endapo kiarie, ukiangalia vilabu vietu vya KWPL, mm. uh, vingi vya hamna ile akadami. Unajua kama kuna klabu, kuna akadami yake. Na katika zile akadami, kuna mikakati ambazo huwa zinaekwa za kukuza ule mchezaji. Kwa hiyo inasaidia sana. Lakini huku jamani... So, so I think, uh, and I'm sure uh -huh. one of the people who are watching this mm -hmm. will be someone from the sports ministry. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it will be very important because mm -hmm. because that one Gini, we are belaboring that point because mm -hmm. it's coming out a bit more uh -huh. frequently. Mm -hmm. More and more girls are losing up bigger opportunities yes. mm -hmm. because of uh, the club be, owners, uh -huh. the coaches, mm -hmm. and people just not understanding mm -hmm. those kind of small mm -hmm. this kind of small hormonal changes. Yes which affects your your performance it yes. can dip but not because you are new airway unajua wakati mwingine kwa kwa wasiana wengine some people uh, that period mm -hmm. is is a period of sickness wengine wanakuwa tu wagonjwa imagine wagonjwa tu ya ukweli
Yeah. They are just, they can't even get out of their bed. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah? yeah. Because of the pain they go through. True. Like, it's not their wish. True. It's Na, not. Yeah. Yeah. Na mm -hmm. maybe health, insurance, yes. Yes. Vitu kama hivyo. They don't have. Mm -hmm. So they need, uh, you know, they need to factor in all those things, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that the girl, uh, when we are talking about leadership, let's have ladies and being encouraged and being empowered to become leaders in this mm -hmm. and also being coaches. Again, I've said this and I emphasize because we cannot have 10 clubs, did you say 12 and then two, uh, two. only two female uh, coaches. Mm -hmm. yeah. That does not work very well for, uh -huh. for that, uh, that, that girl or the girls mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who is dealing with their issues, who is handling it. Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. And then we also, we talked about them knowing their boundaries. How far can I go with somebody? Mm -hmm. We know. Kuna wale anaweza kwa bulldozer hapa, kwa nyanyasa pale na pale. Mm -hmm. Lakini they, we need to empower these girls. Mm -hmm. Unajua, um, I, I was giving this example somewhere and mm. I was asking these guys, mm -hmm. when you look mm -hmm. at, and I'm sorry to keep, to give this comparison, mm -hmm. when you look at a six, even a three-year-old kid who is Muzungu, mm -hmm. uh, no, atakuambia two words what they think. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dad, I don't like that. You know, mm -hmm. you're making me feel uncomfortable. Kiare mm kuja kwa mtoto wako miaka tatu anakuambia what will you do? Ndamfunika <laughs> kofi. Bas. So that is what we do. <laughs> you know? No. But they are just tell so what we they are, do they are just they are trying to express themselves, True. which is very normal. You know, mm. just some of us to nalea watoto wetu vile tulilelewa na wazazi wetu. We were not allowed to talk. To kwa tunambi you just you are only heard or not seen whatever mm. they used to say. Uh -huh. So we want to empower these girls also learn during this self awareness thing, mm. we to learn that I can speak. And when I speak, mm -hmm. it's okay for me to express what I think and feel. Mm -hmm. They learn to express their emotions. Hapa ndiyo sana sana boy child anapotea. Boy child atakiwa na shida gani hase. They don't say. Girls will say. Nata lomda shida ukuja kwa azazi vile vile. Manake mzazi ya shamu kabithi coach ama klabu fulani mchezaji ama mtoto wake. Kwa hiyo akisha toka mazoezi na mazoezi kumekua vipi. Haulizi maswali zaidi ya wafuatu. Lakini pia na kuna kitu nabda pia ndio ngini asisa hui pointa tuambie. Ngini you have mentioned that ili ni ya mentorship. Wanajua people say you see better, you desire better. You see, most boys unonanga like a cadeli when a cadeli and when he was growing up, he was like, you know, he used to have that play, you know, that mm -hmm. play. But to see for women, sports personalities, eh, they, are, they are far, they are not, uh, they are spaced out. Yes. You see, mm -hmm. I know, I know, you know, come athletes, athletes, they are those, me I grew up uh, knowing, uh, there's a lady who's called Rose Tatamuya. Mm -hmm. uh, that was golf. Was she? Uh, Athletics. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, athletics. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, uh, then, you know, girls, then, you know. Hamna. Yeah. Hamna. Uh -huh. It's not for, but for girls, uh -huh. so to speak, eh, the mentors. The mentors. Yeah. So, Africa. so don't you think it's also, even with all the good intent, uh -huh. the girl is not seen better. The girl is not seen uh, the owner of the Roll club, being a woman. Uh -huh. the, the girl is not seen the referee. Uh -huh. Because most referees are men. Men, yeah. For, yeah. for example. Yeah. We yeah. had a session here in Guinea where... Yeah. We were told only 11% of the global sports journalists are women. Mm -hmm. Global? You globally, can imagine. Globally, can imagine, yes. globally, 11 percent only are women mm. who are well on a report sports. Mm -hmm. So if men are the ones who are reporting sports about men, mm -hmm. imagine, no, and, and I'm not saying they're they are biased, uh -huh. but... Nisha, uh, on your situation, sijui ni ilikuwa natazama mechi ipi, kati ya thika queens. Kuna mchezaji ambaye alikuwa na njita Lukaku. Lakini ni wakike. Ni wakike. But calling herself Lukaku. Lukaku. You see? Because there's no female to identify with now. So I think ngini in your recommendation some of your conversations, I think that, you see, because you see now this is, it's like a girl calling herself Cristiano. Cristiano. You see, ama Mo Salah. But it's a it's a film. So I think they also look when I tafuta that kind of nini, what do you call it? Maybe a mentor or something like a role model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially sports. I'm sure mm. people people do tennis. Serena Williams is mm. such a great icon. Yeah, mm. yeah. People tennis. Mm. It's, and I think more, more and more girls, mm. even our very own mm. Ukutoi. Na mm. Angela. Angela mm. Ukutoi. Mm. The first thing I will when you should like to be the next Serena Williams. Mm. So see, I think to anajua, me, anajua. anajua already. Yeah. Yeah, so hapa pia ni challenge, manake sasa, mm. it looks like 
So okay, 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 my name is Startup. By the way, I met her a few years back in, in Eldoret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even in this Nairobi, there's a time we met and she was trying to set up something about sports. Yeah. She had, you know, she had recruited me to some group yeah. now with yeah. her. Yeah. But I had to say that two stories are the same. Yeah. So we need to have, if it is possible, you know, the way we, we have gone places and we've picked people like uh, Peter Lichungu. Yes. You know, yeah. people look at him and say, oh, yes, he was this and I would have loved to be something like that. Yes. Hatuna, if we can get such girls who were there before yes. to water footed to say me, can you please try to mentor one, two, three, four, three? You know, yes. 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 Can we have you come together if you know each other, muje yeah. pamoja, then to form a team or a group? Yes. About to wait was channel our dog about those who are growing, what you want to ha, this one's one. This there. one. You see. And they were stars, they are legends. Can we yes. also, can I also you know? uh, can also identify, yes. can also aspire to. Yes. You see, uh, because, uh, because I'm thinking in Guinea, mm. from what you have just described in the major challenges, mm. Eh, mm. I think that comes out as very key. Yes. We have got ex internationals. Yes. Mahamud yes. Abbas, Eugenie, yes. and they all meet. Yes. Sindio, yes. Murila, no. Masiga, mm -hmm. all those ex internationals. Mm. But all those are boy, are men. Amen. Yes. I wish we had uh, women. Uh -huh. Na thani kiarie, tatizo ni media coverage. Mm -hmm. Role models wapo, ukienda team ya senali, kuna miedema ambaye ni monadada na cheza vizuri. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo, sports coverage katika media station zetu ambaye msichana atona, ah, leo kuna mchezo fulani ya wanadada unaendelea, ningependa ni kuwa kama yule. Kwa hiyo, oh, yeah. ni tatizo sana huku, tunakawa men only. Wapata oh, yeah. msichana anatazama mechi ya senali, kwa hiyo, inakuwa tatizo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. You see, uh, I think more actually could you can come out in a depend exposure and media no yeah mm. the media can make or break someone yeah. True. but here we want them to make uh -huh. to make us yes. so if they can help us to do that mm -hmm. but again since you must also be proactive to somebody the word and say okay if uh ekade luko hapa we want to get this legends mm -hmm. female wako mm hapi -hmm. how asena mbao tuko nao is this is it possible for us to waweke mahali pamoja wote pamoja yeah. to peleke mahali fulani waone so and so playing so that hata wa kirudi they have some, yes, yes they have yes. something in their minds and yes. say it is it is really it's happening you aspire to yes, yes. Yeah. No, so, world cup where yes. wana dada mm -hmm. tu wapeleke tu wapeleke pick a few peleka nah. you know from yeah, those true. different groups that yeah. you have uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then again uh, i think i've talked about um, parent involvement mm -hmm. and they need to actively you know, I know football can be very good business. Mm -hmm. And it has made people, you know, in some mm -hmm. places, mm -hmm. men especially. Mm -hmm. We need to encourage our girls that, yes, it can also be a source of your income. Mm -hmm. However, to now be, for so much, this thing has, it's equal to lifespan. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you can learn it, if you can learn it, you can learn it, you can learn it. And that is why mm. we have people like Omanyala still going to school because he knows. Mm. I have got, I know some big names in this country I don't want to mention. Mm. They they were very good stars in football, mm -hmm. but Saizi ni kama wanatokomea tu because uh -huh. they didn't, they don't have a fallback plan. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sisi me masomo diyo maisha na kila kitu, mm -hmm. but it's important no, to have knowledge. I think it's a good balance and I support you Ngini because we hosted uh, Cynthia Mumbo, mm -hmm. my sister. Mm -hmm. Cynthia is a star. I mean, has been the basketball, basketball. Has yes, yes. but Cynthia also took break and went and did marketing. She was the marketing manager, Ile mm -hmm. Menengai Oil Soccer or Rugby, yes. EABL. Yes, yes. And she, she sat here and said, mm. The moment you also commercialize sports, and even mm. people, uh, women see that sports is a, is a business like yes. any other business, yes, yes, yes. you know, yes. just like you can open up any other business. Yes. I think because by and large, in Guinea, mm. more and more women have taken to sports as a leisure. Yeah. You are swimming, you are a good swimmer, mm -hmm. but it's more it's more hobby. Yeah, it's, it's more of a hobby. hobby. Yeah. They're not looking at it from the uh, 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 entrepreneurship yes. perspective. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like this also can be my business. Exactly. Source of living. You know? Yeah. 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 So we we so need exactly. to change that. Yeah. So exactly. Because mm -hmm. Cynthia Mumbo said, the moment you also start commercializing sports, mm -hmm. and even more and more women mm -hmm. start taking up, you know, those traditional... Positions, uh, Mm -hmm. Eh, hey, rules. Mm -hmm. You see, then, then I think you also grew the, the girls mm -hmm. knowing, Allah, I can also become a CEO, mm -hmm. not of a company, of a sporting club. Mm -hmm. Or a coach. Mm -hmm. Or a coach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, on that note, I'm just thinking, maybe you, you, th you look for a way for us to meet the current uh, uh, minister for, I need to see yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. for, for sports and Aba na mwamba. Yeah. yeah, why yeah. not? We can walk to his office and tell him this is what our recommendations are. Mm -hmm. now, how are you going to support us? Because yeah. we want to lead the girl child also. Mm -hmm. We want them to shine, mm -hmm. you know. 
We want to have them in the world a map. No, Sports Sugu. Yes. Sports Sugu. And I think Guinea, Guinea, you have just like uh, put the butter on the bread. Yes. Mm. Sports Sugu, <laughs> mm -hmm. the mission and the vision of Sports Sugu mm. is having a dedicated women channel yes. where such women issues are articulated. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So the yes. good challenge of Guinea you have just given right now. Mm. The challenge you're given to the media house, GBS yes. TV, yes. and the team here yes. is what can we do in our space mm -hmm. to uplift more women yes. by the yes. media yeah. exposure? Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, before I go, uh, please, I want you to, I would wish or I would suggest that you intentionally get a girl mm -hmm. who is in sports, football particularly, one or two, mm -hmm. please have them here. Let them talk about this. It's better Thank sometimes you. when yes. it exactly. comes the, the, uh, from the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. yes. And they'll tell you, this is what we experience, one, two, three, four things, mm -hmm. and we would like this kind of support. Mm -hmm from you or whoever it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, so I think, uh, uh -huh. I, I think at Tomochilia, Mbaka at Wambie, Penya from Zampata, Shampata, Ujo Nambaka, Simu, Emiliaki, or you and give, eh? Lazima to a case. To a case, like I told you, me and I to Angini and Asonga counseling psychologist, I'm a consultant, mm -hmm. and therefore my number is um, 0785. Mm -hmm. Triple one mm -hmm. seven seven three. Yeah. I work uh, under an organization called Fariji Counseling and Empowerment. I like empowering. Empowerment. Yeah, consultancy. Uh -huh. uh, kwa Facebook ni ngini na songo tu tanipata hapo. Uh -huh. uh, kwa Instagram na songo ngini uh -huh. utanipata hapo. Hii ingine ni nini? Kwa Twitter. 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 Uh, pia Twitter ni na songo ngini. You reverse the names. TikTok in the end. Very soon. Very soon. <laughs> very soon. In the end, I'm not there yet, but I know when I check check is over too. So yes, that is what, uh, what I, I I do. And uh -huh. my other number is 0722-743397. Uh -huh. Now, yes. And you carry on a lazy ada. Me me And I think the biggest take home, uh -huh. the biggest take home uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. Sports Sugu to get a chance to talk to the incoming CS yeah. because we need to have these girls and women in sports. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, mm -hmm. we are working hard to have more sports programs mm -hmm. and more women mm -hmm. hosting and co hosting and being in the field mm -hmm. at a camera, at a, mm -hmm. camera, at a technical team. Mm -hmm. It also becomes women and mm -hmm. girls. Mm -hmm. We build the conversation, the Samanga charity begins at home. Yes. Asante sana. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo ngini na songo na kushukuru kwa ujio wako, tumeshukuru, tumezungumza, mm -hmm. umetuhamasisha, mm -hmm. e, tukajua pa, pa kusonga, umetuelekeza, najua wazazi wengi ambao wanatazama sasa hivi, mm -hmm. wame, wana jambo ambalo wange, wangeambia wanadada ama wasichana wao, mm -hmm. ambao wana usika karika spoti. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo, hapa ndo nyumbani, okay. tuneza kukaribisha tena na tena, sure. jisikia okay. nyumbani. Kwa hiyo mimi sina lingine la ziada, uh, siku zote ni ite kadeli, lakini tunacho kitengo chingine cha sport sub extra, eh, tutakuwa tunangamua mambo ya asenali, kama hii weekendi eh, tutaenda kwa ngini, tukichapwa. <laughs> Kwa hiyo tunakomea hapa mtazamaji utapatana tena weekendi ijayo kwa mjadala mwingine. Asante. Shukrani.